Good early morning, everybody. How you doing? So, uh, the past two videos I've done on the Cowboys. One, before the Cowboy game, I put on there uh, why the Cowboys will lose to the Bears. And then after that, I put a video up right after the game. The Cowboys lose to the Bears. <laughs> I mean, come on. This has to be the revolution that the Cowboys need. We've lost three of the past... Oh, no, we've only won three of the past ten games. Uh, we've lost three in a row. Um, Jerry Jones, I think he's insane. He is the most insane owner of any f football fr franchise. I mean, the, the, if you look at the definition of insanity... It is doing the same exact thing and expecting different results. Why is he insane? What quantifies him being insane? Well, over the past years, he has stuck with Jason Garrett and his family till just doesn't deviate from that course at all. And like Stephen A. Smith said, it ain't good for business. So, Jerry Jones, you have to let go of Mr. Garrett. His time is over. He needs to go. You've overstayed your welcome here, Mr. Garrett. Jerry Jones, you're insane for keeping Jason Garrett this long. I would have fired him at the a couple seasons ago. He's awful. Get rid of him. Gone. Bye. And it, it, it really pisses me off as to how committed he is to Jason Garrett. This is not the Dallas Cowboy organization that we we, we we should have. If you think about it, back in the days of Tom Landry, uh, Jimmy Johnson, they performed, they coached well, then they then they were fired. <laughs> well, well, Jimmy Johnson got fired. He he should never been fired. But that's how Jerry runs his business. Except when it comes to Jason Garrett, he's the exception because he loves Jason Garrett. It is killing this organization. The players have quit. The fans are furious. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they were protesting on the streets for Jason Garrett's job. You know, I mean, for him to be fired. I can't believe it hasn't come to that yet. As many football fans are in Dallas that support the Cowboys, I am shocked that nothing has no thoughts about it, protest or anything. It has come to that. I'm not advocating that we go out protesting, you know, on the streets, you know, for Garrett to just quit. If, if Jerry's not going to fire him, he should at least quit before the next game. If I was Jerry Jones, I would have fired... Okay. If I was Jerry Jones, Garrett was still the head coach before the uh, Bear game last night, I would have fired him right after the game. If not, at halftime. This is ridiculous. They have quit on their coaches. On the owners, they're fed up with it. And if you heard Dak Prescott last night, he said, yeah, we're, we're going to, you know, we, we didn't execute. Of course he didn't execute. Now, I love Dak Prescott. And I'm going to say this about that. He should have got that contract and said to Zeke because we got Pollard. I'm a big fan of Pollard. He runs the ball good. He runs hard. Zeke is great. But it, it's really expensive to have Zeke. But even, uh, in fact, what I was saying, Dak, uh, he's the face of our franchise. And, you know, I think none of the players are going to say nothing outright like Garrett needs to go. There's a problem with the coaching staff that we're quitting. But we can all see it on the field. That, to me, it, it, whatever they're saying about 
the head coach position and all this other stuff. It doesn't matter. We see it on game day. And, and they came out saying, oh, we had a great week of practice. Great week of practice. Well, we're not seeing the results of that, you know, you know, in the game. So, it doesn't matter how you practice. It's how you perform on any given Sunday. They need to watch that movie after the season's over. Okay, the, the week after next, we play L.A. L.A. comes here, play the Rams. They should beat us. Then we go to Philly. They should beat us. Philly, okay. I hate the Eagles. I hate them more than any other team in the league. I, I'm just going to say that. I'm being nice to say that. <laughs> I hate the Eagles, but I hope they beat the Cowboys when we play them in Philly. I hope y'all beat us. Y'all deserve more. Well, y'all also the Dolphins, but... You know, it's picking the lit less of the evils. Well, however you say it. The lesser of the two evils, so. Eagles, beat them boys. Clobber us. Because this organization, it's only going to do us better if y'all beat us. If y'all crush us. Don't hurt any of our players, but crush us. I want Jason Garrett to cry walking off that field. He needs to go. He needs. To, he's overstayed his welcome. I, he, he's got to go. He's awful. He needs to leave. And if you saw after the game last night, even the fans at the uh, that little uh, pavilion by the stadium, they're sick of Garrett. We're all sick of Garrett and the, and the coaches. We're all sick of. We all know that that's the reason why they've they're in a position they're in right now. Ooh, we're in first place. We're still in first place. It, dude, it don't work like that. It don't matter. It, and, and if we do win, you know, there is a chance. I expect the Cowboys to beat the Redskins. I, I do expect that, even at how poorly they're playing. I expect them to beat the Redskins. Loose of the Rams, loose of the Eagles, so we got... Two more losses coming our way, so that puts us at uh, what seven and nine at the end of the season. Seven and nine that'll put us somewhere in the middle of the draft, a little lower than that. Murray Cooper's got to go. We and Jerry Jones, you have not signed Dak to a long term uh, contract. What's up with that? We've been one. We got Dak. He's a great. I, I like Dak a lot. And the <clears throat> thing is, there's been some talk, some rumors about Urban Meyer coming over from Ohio State. I don't think that's going to happen. That's that's too good to be true. So Richards is our guy. I believe he's going to be our head coach next year. And it's you can't get any worse than this. For, forget we're first place right now. Just forget it. Doesn't matter. We need change in this organization. We've got the players now. So let's take a stand. Protest against your Cowboys on Twitter. Send Garrett or the Cowboys organization letters. Letting them know how you feel. How you're fed up with this organization. We're cowboy fans. We are we are cowboy nation. But I'm hating on them right now. Love hurts. It's like a a, a brotherly love. A, you know your best friend. You love your brothers. You love your best friend. It's the same thing. But what's best for them sometimes hurts, and this hurts. This hurts a lot. So I'm gonna keep rooting for the Seahawks. <laughs> Y'all may think I'm insane, but it's logical. I have a lot of logic behind my senses here. <laughs> so you're getting learnt right now. <laughs> so uh, to the Cowboys players, I'm sorry y'all have had this season y'all have had. Y'all didn't deserve this. We didn't deserve this. 
I put the blame on Jerry Jones, and I think his view of what it takes to become a playoff contending team in order in NFL is distorted. His son Steven needs to step in and say, "Hey, Dad, we're making a lot of mistakes here. We've messed up this year. Let's not do it again next year for the 2019." Asking for the 2020 season. So, I challenge Stephen A. Jones to have a talk with his dad about the future of this Dallas Cowboy organization. Because if Garrett is our head coach next year, then you might as well just start over. Get rid of everybody. Players, everybody. Because we're going to suck next year too if Garrett's the head coach. Is awful. And you should be pissed. You should be fired up too about this. I've had it. I've had it with it. I've had it. I want Jason Garrett gone. He's got to go. The team has quit. We have. We saw it last night against the Bears. They make Mitchell Trubisky look like uh, Dan Marino. Joe Montana, Steve Young, he looked like that. And granted, he's a first-round pick, and he's going to be a good quarterback. Don't get me wrong there. But, he, you know, they shouldn't have made him look that good in his first year. I mean, that was his first. He, when he ran that ball, what, 18, 23 yards, whatever, he looked like a, he looked like a damn running back. Or wide receiver drooping and. They weren't even trying to tackle him last night. What's up with that? They have quit. Weak tackles. I heard on the uh, ESPN radio this morning, John Jock, Taylor, and uh, the other guy, that they are weak. They are soft. And you know what? They are soft. We need a head coach that can inspire them to play hard. Inspire them to play to win. Not kick a field goal with... Uh, you know, two or four minutes left in the game. No, you go for the win. You know, even when everything's lost, Garrett doesn't try to win. At least try to win. You are playing a game. You want to win. That's something also that I don't like about Garrett. He never plays to win. He always plays to tie or be conservative. Whatever it is. Well... <laughs> Well, you're being too conservative, not willing to take risks, trying to win a game, inspire your team to win, has hurt this organization. And the Cowboy players aren't going to say that because they, they work with these coaches every day. But I'm going to say it. I think I know what they're feeling. I don't know. I've never played in the NFL. I played high school football. That was it. But this has to stop. I know the players are hurting right now. We're all from two, one. See so, yeah. I don't know what else to say. If we don't fire Garrett after the uh, Rams game, I don't care if they win if they got to go.